Yo, what up, internet? Welcome to Bricks and Beer, your mom's favorite podcast about Lego and beer. Uh, this isn't so much an episode as a special edition. Uh, tonight, today, wherever you're at, we're going to talk about some Nine Brick Mechs, and more importantly, who's a winner? Uh, but before we get into that, let's talk about the beer. I got a super special beer here. Courtesy of my homie Stefan. Uh, Oktoberfest is canceled, but they're still making the beer. So, I injure Oktoberfest Marzen. It's authentic Bavarian. Look how fucking cool this bottle cap is. It's got this like authentic Bavarian little quaint scene on it. Uh, so, I hope you guys are doing well, man. Cheers, everybody. Uh, this is fucking delicious. Um, I kind of wish I'd brought the Stein down here. This would have been better. You know, beer and Steins is always better. Uh, but what are we here for, man? We're here because I did this thing where I was like, hey guys, build a nine brick mech. And then all you motherfuckers did it, dude. The internet did not disappoint. Um, as of now, which is like, you know, a week after the deadline, we've got 369 entries. Which, only like a handful of those are after the deadline. Of those, 22 are like my and the homies bullshit about the contest. So overall, we got 347 fucking different entries. Which is fucking mind-blowing, guys. You did it. You won. Um, so yeah, if you participated at all, fucking thank you. That's amazing. Uh, because we got so many, I couldn't do this alone. I needed to enlist the, the help of the homies. So, uh, say what up, boys. What up, Internet? What up, Internet? What's up, Internet? Okay, so here's how this works. We all agreed that there'd be one winner, right? And there definitely is one winner. And we're going to tell you who that winner is at the end of this. But before we get to that, because we got so many, and there's so many people... We, we definitely had to recognize some some standouts. So what me and the homies agreed to is that uh, we would each pick a fave and we would build them a trophy and we'd send you guys a trophy. So these are the Whack Lug faves. We'll start with me. Uh, we're also just going to kind of go through and shout out some other people and interesting builds that we went through it. Um, so the big question is, who is my fave? Uh, it was pretty, pretty easy to isolate this one for me um there were a ton but the originator the dude who gave me this entire idea he came through and he came through in a big way marco de bon is a masterful mech builder there it is he built two this is my favorite of the two there is so much going on here and i know my production values super well with the the iphone here uh but i mean just look at the parts usage the gear in the, the thing oh there we go. Um, so good, man. The guns are so good. Like, the profile is great. I love this missile usage of the microphones as the missile pack. It's just solid all the way around. So, Marco, was real close. You were close to the best, but not quite. But, dude, it's fucking awesome. So, you win this unique Wactron Trophy prize, complete with hanger. An original build by me. I'll send it to you for being fucking awesome. Uh, you guys should also check out Marco's other stream. Um, or other builds, I should say. This is his other contest entry, which is a super, super sexy space one. Featuring uh, a whole bunch of really just hot parts usage. I mean, uh, live and uncut. Live and uncut. Uh, here we go. So, there's the back. Look at how fucking sexy that is. There it is. Yeah. So I'm going to link to all the fucking people we talk about so you don't have to necessarily try to, like, focus on my poor iPhone skills. Um, but yeah, man, it was fucking great. So Marco, thank you for fucking hanging out and participating and just setting the bar right off the bat. Kind of felt like everybody knew right away, like, oh, shit, like, it's on. It's on. Um... But I mean, seriously, like so many good entries. So I just want to go through, I want to shout out a handful of builders as we, we kind of, you know, rolled through 
all these entries, and there were so many to pick from, and I wish I could give you guys all prizes. Obviously, I can't do that. Uh, but I can give you shout-outs. So first shout-out is uh, to this dude, Shiatoku. This guy. He did build from minifig scale builds, which I wasn't... Oh, yikes. Real V1 Kenobi. Stop uh, discording me. Uh, dude, look at this hard suit. So I wasn't real hot on, like, minifig type stuff. But goddamn, is this perfect. Um, and... Oh, yes. Oh, yes. It fully transforms into what is a rather tight and very not robotic looking buggy like this is mad engineering uh so shout out to the homie shiotoku he also built a super cute chibi pete reed hard suit exosuit oh i'm now realizing this is gonna be terrible for you guys yeah someday we'll do better production with screen sharing and stuff. Oh man, sorry dude. I guess the internet computer does not want to show your build. Maybe, maybe, motherfuck. Um, okay, so yeah, sorry Shiatoku, but your, your shit's fucking rad, man. Um, so yeah. I mean, we, we were going through so many of these. There's so many different types of builders with different types of nine brick mechs. Um, there's this dude, Lego Mechable, who built a ton of, like, Pacific Rim builds, which I think are great. Like, he obviously got the scale. But then he built this thing called the LMM frame. Oh, this one's going to be rough. There we go. All right. So, very, like, five-star stories kind of looking sexy mech with a sword, right? Oh, it's gonna be rough for you guys. I'm sorry. I'm trying to do things the wrong way. Ah, uh, there we go. So it's got a big wing pack. It's fucking legit. It's got this legit sword, and then it does this, where the sword splits in half, and the wing pack opens up, and it's full of fucking action. And it's got a teeny tiny cockpit that opens up in the chest. So that's like that hits all the fucking bells and whistles for me, man. Like, checks all the boxes. It's it's great, man. So cheers, Lego Mechable. Thanks for uh, hanging out. And then um, this one's, you know, they're, they're all kinds, right? So it's like, it's an interesting contest because it's, it's a full spectrum of, like, you're putting a constraint on things, but, like, what do people think a mech is? What, what can you do? What can you kind of, like, stretch within the boundaries of things, right? Fucking Bob Ross. That's what you can do. So shout out to RH Build. He uh he submitted this quite early in the contest. It's a nine brick Bob Ross. Can I fuck it up? Oh hey, I did it. There he is. There's Bob Ross. Cracks me up. Good job, RH Build. Uh let's see, what else we got? Antifez? Andrea Chiapella, fucking fabulous mech builder, built all these flat top robot dudes. They're actual hard suits. They've got minifigs inside of them. He built five of them, which is like, fuck yeah, man. Great. Uh, the homie Brom. Brom always comes through. He built a super cute dinosaur mech, which, how can you not love this? It's a dinosaur, and it's nine bricks tall. So shout out to Brom. Um, and then lastly, before I hand it off to one of the other homies here, I gotta talk about Cade, Kid Roster. He he built a lot, and I think he kind of nailed the spirit of bricks and beer. It's a mini fig scale build, which I was really hoping everybody was gonna build micro scale stuff. Teeny tiny giant robots. But this this one just it's it's got the spirit of bricks and beer all up in it. And when the camera focuses. There it is. So, I fucking love it. Um, thank you guys for participating. I think it's fucking great. It, so many good ones. Up next is uh, that guy. What up, internet? Welcome to this part of Bricks and Beer. I'm holding a can of Acme beer. Net contents, 12 fluid ounces. Also, the Los Angeles Brewing Company 
internal revenue tax paid. That's pretty much all the information that's on this can. Uh, except these dudes back there um, are having a bang up time. You know, it's like get acne beer. Uh, you live in like a park place and this giant lady comes and, and brings you beer. Um, not so sure about the 12 fluid ounces because it sounds like what's actually in here is about a couple pinches of sand. Uh, you can find cans of Acme beer under the floorboards of the garage in my old house. So go get some. Um, also endorsed by Wiley Coyote, super genius. And speaking of coffee tables, I'm going to put this down on my coffee table and swap it for this. Nine brick mech! That's what this is. It's under nine bricks tall and holy cow, what a contest. Um, I had such a good time. There's like a 360 something entries. I mean, 40 of those are Andrew, um, but, uh, but that's part of what was actually a really bitching contest is Andrew was super high energy the whole time, you know? So nicely done, dude. Um, right here, you've got the Blacktron mech that I did. Um, the cockpit's right in between all those guns because it sucks to work for Blacktron. My ears. There is a Wactron brick, courtesy of our own Zach Clap saddle, and a space cruiser that's getting stepped on and smashed. You guys remember the space cruiser, right? It's my personal favorite. Classic space. Um, <clears throat> I actually got a little pushback from Mr. Clap saddle today because he was saying this maybe should be fighting space police or you know, Futuron. And I was like, okay, could I get you. Uh, Futuron's kind of like classic space with visors, so I just, I just didn't want to do the monorail. That's what it was. I thought the space cruiser was more dynamic. And, you know, because the monorail is basically a train. Okay, this is my son's uh, old laptop. It's kind of clunky. Ooh, let's not shine the light right on it, huh? but we're gonna use this to talk about my shout outs. Um, oh look, there's Zach's build right there. And look, it's got train tracks because uh, Zach's build is a train. He wants us all to be train guys. Zach's secretly a train guy. A train guy. All right, so I'm gonna close this window, which is hilarious because the W key is missing. That's why this is my kid's old laptop. Okay, first shout out. I got a couple sort of uh, anthropomorphic mechs um, that I wanted to showcase. This is a mini figure life um, and it's from Singapore. Very simple. It looks a lot like a, a mini um, version of the Pete Reed mech with guns. It's just very simple brush, brush strokes, um, well chosen. And I just uh, wanted to give that one a shout out. So nice work, friend. Oh, fail. Um, this one is by Brickaverse or perhaps a Brickaverse C. Um, what caught my eye was the egg timer shield. That I thought that was very cool. Uh, and also I, I've been kind of leaning more towards um, mechs that have like an organic thing going on. Uh, that sort of speaks a little bit more to the lyrical, romantic, um, less industrial, realistic kind of thing that I like to go for when we're dealing with giant robots, you know. I guess we all got a thing. Um, and this, I thought, was a really great crisscross between that exact vibe. It's like super heavy industrial, but also kind of organic. It, it looks a lot like this Lego Hero Factory piece, you know, like a single eye um, and a bunch of kind of organic shapes around it, shaping it. Very cool. Uh, this is Chibi Builds, I believe. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, so good work, all of you guys. Shout out. Um, okay, this thing is just adorable. Um, I think we all tended towards the, like the trophy scale mechs in the end. Uh, there weren't rules, but you can put a minifigure in this thing. And it closes and it looks like this beautiful little asymmetrical robot. It's so cute. This totally speaks to that kind of romance that I've been into lately. Like it kind of speak, it's kind of like mobius a little bit. Okay, Scorpion Club. Uh, oh, oh shoot, that was PX Polo was the bot that we just closed. Uh, this is Nissimimet. Maybe I'm pronouncing that right. 
um, who did a Scorpion Mac, and so did local fan favorite Chris White. Um, yeah, they, oh, I almost got that. I almost got that. Anyhow, those guys, I don't know if you guys actually saw me mooning over my Scorpion Zoid, but anyway, you guys are in the Scorpion Mech Club. Bam! Um, actually, I'm not even in that club myself. I didn't build any Scorpion Mechs. It's a spider mech. Okay, this was sort of my second runner-up. This is the guy who almost got the trophy. Um, sorry to put it that way. Uh, a boy and his at at is, I think it's, a, I think Scott. Anyway, this reminds me of Thunderbirds, and which is kind of funny because Thunderbirds is not very organic shape oriented. Thunderbirds is about, um, you know, the early 20th century, excuse me, early 21st century, but nuclear powered, but it's okay. And everything looks like uh, early 60s Britain, like pre Paisley mod, like that's romantic. And I love this. So this is just adorable, like a really good, I mean, a, uh, I want to say simple build, but not in a bad way. Like it's it's really well done. I, I really dug it. But the winner of my little black drawn trophy is Baboom Optimus Convoy for your really cool, organic looking, nicely shaped Magenta Mech. Nice work, dude. You are gonna get this in the mail. Maybe it'll be a little bag full of parts. Uh, we'll see what we want. Um, we'll be in touch one way or another. But anyway, thank you to everybody who entered. Um, I am following a whole bunch of new people on Instagram and I liked a whole bunch of new stuff. And even if I didn't like your stuff, like, oh, the effort was amazing, amazing. Um, so everybody have a great everything and we'll see you next year. What up, internet? Let's get ready for uh, my picks. Um, I'm Zachmo. Uh, on Flickr, also exactly on Instagram. Um, Andrew asked the members of Black Club to help judge his uh, Nine Brick Mech contest on Instagram. Um, you guys kind of blew it out of the water. Uh, there was 360 some entries. Um, now granted, some of those were Andrews um, and announcements as well, but um, it took a few solid hours to go through um, and judge all of the entries. Um, and I was just blown away. Um, there was a huge variety in there. Uh, just really awesome. Um, I'm going to throw my, what I would consider my honorable mentions, and then my pick for um, Best Mac. So before I do that, I want to say that if anyone um wants feedback on their models um just add me to your post of your nine brick mech and i'll kind of tell you um what i looked at what i liked what i didn't like where you can improve um if you want you don't have to but um just throwing it out there um andrew will link my name down in the description just because i like making him work harder um so i'm gonna try to do this thing where i just show pictures on my phone and it kind of sucks but um, Andrew does it, and it's not as bad as, um, you know, he thinks it is, and hopefully not as bad as I think it is. Um, so I'm going to shout it out. I might butcher some of these names, but you should definitely follow these people. Um, they did an awesome job in this contest. Um, first up is Anchifez. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. But um, this right here, uh, there we go. Um, they, these mechs right here, this was kind of um, the base one, the first one they released, and I love this. I love the horns. I love the shape of it. Um, and then Dude went on to um, create five or four additional ones um, in that same vein with that same type of suit. Um, here's another one of my favorites. Um, so, yeah. Um, Anchifez. Dude, killer job. Uh, next up. Let's go to um, Pyre Lego. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Um, and this dude made uh, had had three different entries, but um, one of these um, I just absolutely loved. Um, well, first I'll show this one. So this one was awesome. Um, I really did like this one. Uh, those are coming in okay, um, dude. This one right here. Um, 
again, uh, dark blue, awesome color scheme, um, well put together, and great usage of parts. But this one right here, uh, which was the final one he created, was just awesome. I mean, um, the detail, the, um, man, just the form in general. Um, it kind of reads like you don't know what the scale is, which is awesome. Um, because this could be a giant mech. This could be a smaller mech. You, you don't really know or you can't tell. Um, but that's awesome. That uh, kind of blurred line. I, I love that. So Fire Lego, awesome job, dude. Uh, next up, uh, Garuk 18 or Garuk 18. Um, this guy had one of the first entries uh, to the contest, I think. Um, and it was this dude. Um, I mean, this mech has like croissants for eyes or a face area, has these huge massive arms and these katanas. Um, this thing right here um, was definitely one of my favorite early mechs. Um, and just the form, I mean, um, man, uh, I, I, I love this entry. Um, he also, Garuk went on to make, um, one, two, three, four, five, uh, six, it looks like, entries. Um, another one that was super kind of out there in form, but that really worked, was, um, this one right here. Um, I mean, those long spindly arms, it definitely reminds me of some type of, um, man, I don't even know what to compare it to. Um, but I love the arms on this one. Um, so again, Garuk 18. Dude, you had a lot of, uh, awesome entries. Um, so again, uh, definitely made my honorable mention list. Um, next up is Ro.Bata. Um, had, man, I, I think again, uh, about five different entries over the course of the contest. Um, this little guy. Um, I love this guy. This guy is just cute. Um, I mean, that hammer, uh, the awesome thing about the hammer is you kind of can use it, um, to judge the height of the bot. I mean, it's nine bricks tall. Um, at least I think it is. Yeah, it, it's about nine bricks tall. Um, and again, I mean, it just goes to show, like, you know, it, it's a great little display. Um, again, awesome. I, I love this guy. He, he's, he's cute, uh, for a bot. Um, he also had a few other entries that were also good. Um, this one right here, I love the wrench arms and the use of um, gold with white uh, really worked pretty well. Um, so yeah, Rodabata, dude, honorable mention. Great job, man. Um, my last honorable mention, man, th th this was so tough for me because I struggled with this decision. And we, and you know, the bros kind of talked about it. Um, this was probably. Um, Man, it, it was close to my favorite entry in the entire competition. Um, the problem was it was just a little over nine bricks tall. And um, I know we're not super solid on that. Like if it would have been nine bricks on a plate, I probably would have just chosen it. But um, it's just, again, uh, I'll just uh, throw it out there. So, um, Ket Logs, uh, Mex, and Mox. Man, come on, get in focus there. Um, dude. This thing is killer. I mean, uh, again, I mean, it's this uh, chi chimera looking mech, and it's awesome. Dude, it's got four legs, it's got uh, awesome weaponry, it's got fantastic proportions, it's got awesome wings and horns. Um, I just, man, and, and again, dude, Ket Logs, um, we talked about this and we struggled with this because, again, it was potentially one of the best build entries in the contest. And, um, dude, your other, your other, um, mocks that you did on here, man, um, or anyone that's watching this, I mean, look at this. This is just like, it's the form and the function, the shapes. I mean, like, dude, those, those curly Q, um, parts, they totally work and totally help sell this. Um, I love on this one that there's no feet, like that's rad. Um, and again, man, that Chimera, uh, possibly one of my favorite bills in the contest, um, Dude, it was just too, it was just a little too tall. Um, but dude, awesome work nonetheless, man. Uh, you should be proud of that. Um, all right. Now let's go to my choice for, um, what I thought was, um, the, my, my favorite mock aside from who we voted for, um, the grand prize. Um, this person, um, 
I'll be getting in contact with them. Um, so you guys might have seen this that I created. Um, and I threw it on a little base. Um, it's like a little trophy. Um, I'll be getting in contact with you and we'll uh, get that shipped out. Um, I'm really proud of... The, the build's okay. But this container right here, like... Um, I'm super proud of this container. And, uh, man. Um, anyways. This is going to get sent to... Uh, and, I, and I'm guessing it's Roman numerals, but David uh, 7 or David VII. Um, dude, this thing right here, holy moly. Uh, this is killer. Um, so early on in the competition, uh, David uh, released this thing. Um, this was also one of my favorites um, for a good portion of the competition. Um, this red one is fantastic, but this orange one with these claws, um, I mean, dude, it's got, it, 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 in a weird way, like, the arms definitely remind me of um, the Gundam uh, Barbatos. I mean, it, it's just the, the claws and everything, dude, it's just beautiful. Um, the shape of the head, um, the amount of details that are just pumped into this, um, man, th this is just awesome. So, um David 7, I'm guessing, or David DII, uh, whatever you go by. Um, dude, uh, I'm going to get in touch with you and get your address, and I'm going to mail you this prize. So um, that's it. That wraps up my entries. Um, again, guys, if you, uh, again, my link's down in the bio. If you want feedback on your stuff, by all means, I'll be happy to give it. Um, I had a great time with this contest. Um, yeah, peace out. So before I start giving my actual shout outs, uh, I do want to give, uh, do that cliche thing where I give one big shout out to everybody who entered. Um, cause, um, this is like a two week contest and we had 300 plus entries. That's, that's crazy. That's awesome. Like, uh, uh, I get that, you know, it's special circumstances Well, you know, shelter in place and everything. Uh, everybody's got a lot of time to build small robots, but, um, this is rad. Yeah, rock on. Um, I I tend to be the kind of person who roots for the underdog too. So like, I want to give a special shout out to all the people who probably knew that maybe their photography skills uh, or you know their the time that they've invested in learning how to build with the brick isn't you know wasn't going to be quite up to what a lot of other entries were going to present. Um, but they still wanted to participate. So, like, rock on to you guys. Um, keep building, and uh, you're going to get there eventually. Um, right. So, I have a couple confessions to make. Um, first of, first confession is, uh, this is apple juice. Sorry, team. I'm, uh, I'm on doctor's orders right now. Um, second confession is that... I am probably the worst person to be judging a mech building contest, um, or possibly the best, depending on how you look at it. Um, the thing is, I don't actually care that much about mechs. <laughs> um, funny story, like, um, I actually started unfollowing some of the most prominent mech builders in the community. Uh, this is, um, this is pretty embarrassing. Um, but it, what it really comes down to is that, um, like, I think mechs are cool. Don't get me wrong. Like, uh, but I'm not a mech fan, and I'm not so much of a mech fan that I need to see a new mech every day that is basically the same mech with just, you know, uh, different colors, possibly different or armature articulation, whatever. I, where I'm going with this is when Andrew made me a judge of this contest, um, I was worried that we were just going to get 300 or whatever entries that all basically boiled down to either a Gundam or a Battletech mech, and it would be impossible to tell the difference between any of them. Um, and I was pleasantly surprised. Um, so the shout-outs that I'm going to give out are to the ones that really stood out to me is really kind of breaking the mech mold. Um, 
So I probably, you know, pick something a little different than uh, you might expect. Uh, so my first shout out goes to Grasnador. Um, I fucking love this like funky disco robot. Uh, like, yeah, <laughs> it's totally like it's got that retro toy vibe. Uh, I don't know from what era, um, but I just love how sparkly it is and how different. Um, it's maybe a little hard to call it a mech. I think it's a robot. Uh, you know, it's clearly an evil, evil alien robot. Um, but I loved that one. Um, I also loved, let's see, come on phone, give me the next one. Oh, all the times for it to crash. Fucking monkeys, right? All right. Um, live, uncut, unprofessional. I'm just keeping it on brand, apparently, today. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. What was that? Yeah, the second, second shout-out. Um, I was going to go to Stud Zone uh, for this weird, wacky alien shit. Um, this thing just jumped out at me for some reason. I love the... Um, uh, it kind of has like a video game enemy kind of feel to it. Uh, I love that pink eye on the middle and just kind of the weird, uh, you know, the um, unconventional shape to it. Um, so that was cool. Um, uh, this one, Every Brick of Sculpture, you get a shout out for this. Uh, this is, you know, a bit more on the conventional side for mechs. Um, but uh, I really dug this one um not very many people did a dio and there is a ton of action in this one and i do like the design of the mech uh it's got a very warhammer 40k feel to it um you know the chima parts really add a lot uh, uh i'm not a, like a huge warhammer 40k guy but i um i have a lot of appreciation for just kind of like the lore and the aesthetic of 40k um so you know i, I appreciate when i see it um my next couple shout-outs, uh, I could maybe be accused of cronyism, because um, they're both people I know personally. Uh, three, the next three are actually people I know personally. Um, but I think that probably just speaks to the fact that uh, I tend to make friends with people who have similar interests. Um, so anyway, uh, fucking Aaron, I fucking love this shit. The fucking Ferrari racing mech, like... Um, I don't think anybody else did a racing mech. And this thing just has, like... Like, you can see the power in the legs, right? This like, where all the engineering has gone. Like, like this just... Like, it's got that fucking 80s hot rod, like, aesthetic. Um, I don't know. Something that Sid Mead would draw, maybe. Uh, and I fucking love that thing, dude. Um, and then next up, fucking Proud Love. Uh, dude... I've got the book right here. Um, I was actually really surprised, given that the TV show is just now out, um, how few people wanted to do Stalinhog inspired mix. I think that was the only one I really saw. Maybe people don't know who Simon Stalinhog is, um, but you should fucking watch Tales from the Loop on Amazon. Uh, me and the other wax, I've all watched it and have had a lot of discussions about it. Um, yeah, go watch that shit. And then uh, give Proud Love some love. Uh, because these are very obviously Stalin Hog Max, and uh, I dig that a lot. Um, yeah, again, I like the shit that breaks the mold and doesn't really uh, do that boilerplate thing, right? Um, also, I am not too offended that you stole my food design. <laughs> uh, proud love, I fucking love you, dude. Come back to the West Coast sometime. Miss you, bro. Okay, um,. Yeah, and then that brings me to uh, my personal pick for trophy winner. Shout out trophy winner. Um, and that goes to the first one I saw that really, to me, like, broke that mold. And was like, oh, cool, something different. Um, that's going to go to the homie Daniel from across the pond, dude. Some same Lego. Um, who, uh, again... Uh, I, I, I'm trying to do this in the most unbiased way possible. I actually did not realize that you, that your, that Instagram handle was you, uh, Mr. Daniel Slovakia. 
Um, but yeah, the gorilla one really stuck out to me first. Uh, the use of that helmet uh, is just a super awesome detail. Um, I noticed you had a couple of kind of Overwatch inspired ones, and I, I really do not uh, fault you for that at all. Like, uh, they were clearly maybe Overwatch inspired, but you, your own designs. Um, Daniel had th three or four other entries that I'm not featuring right now. Uh, but the other one the, that I'm showing, this um, the triple vehicle assembly mech, um, that is just fucking rad. Uh, not only does it break up into three different vehicles that are all separate, um, but each vehicle actually fits the micro fig, the, the trophy fig, um, as a pilot. Uh, and I don't think very many people did that, so fucking props to you, dude. Um, and I love just, like, uh, the, the whole... The whole breaking it up into three different vehicles thing, that's just, like, the total 80s toy-slash-TV show crossover aesthetic that... Um, you know, that kind of speaks to me on a certain level, being a kid from the 80s. Um, and just the designs were great. Um, so, yeah, congrats to you, Daniel. Uh, you're going to get this mech, which is not nearly as cool as any of the mechs that you made. Um, I've, a full disclosure, I knocked it out in an hour, because, again, mechs aren't really my thing. Uh, anyways, it at least has some cool parts on it, and I would not be offended if you just wanted to take it apart and use it. <laughs> um, I do have one final, uh, a couple final shout-outs before I go. Um, we kind of divided up who was going to do what shout-out uh, when multiple people wanted to shout-out to the same person, but along the, the same lines of, like, I was looking for the stuff that was cool and different, um, Ketlogs, Keith, Keith's somebody, um, I really loved all of your mechs, um, but I think Zach is going to give you the full shout out if he hasn't already in this video. And um, fucking Tim Goddard, I love this leggy thing, um, but you're just getting a quick shout out because Tim, we know if you really want a fucking signed Peter Reed official Lego set, like I got the book, bro. You could just call him. You don't need that. Um, with that, I'm done. Dude, so many, right? So many. Like, fucking, and it's, what's crazy to me is like, we got entries from all over the world, fucking international presence galore. Um, big love, big love to Chibi Bots, Chubby Bots, not Chibi Bots. He does build some Chibi Robots. But uh, the homie Kelvin, Chubby Bots, the world-renowned Chubby Bots, uh, he runs a Facebook group called Brick Mecha Division, um, so if you guys are into building mecha, which I'm assuming you are since you're watching this and you hopefully built, you know, some little nine brick mechs and whatnot, um, you should go check it out. Uh, I did promote this contest every fucking day there. Uh, so we got, we got quite a, a presence from there. So, so thanks to Calvin for letting me crash a group and like spam shit out every day. Um, but you know, here's the deal. Everybody wants to know who the winner is, right? The one, the best, the dude that's going to get this. The best, the best. All right, boys, say it with me. Ooh, girl. Ooh, girl. Ooger. Ooger. Uger. That's right. Uger. Oscar. Oscar Cedarwall. You, sir, are the best. By far. It was like real easy. We had a lot of differing opinions about what could be faves and what should be top 10 or top 5 or consideration, but like, you were the one. You were the one. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is your nine brick mech contest winner. It's so good, dude. It is so good. Um, I love everything about this. I love that it's a multi-ped. I love the shaping. I love the parts usage. The legs are just super sexy. The differentiation between the back legs and the front legs. Also, the dio. The dio sells 
so much of the scale. The fact that it's got the nine brick ruler, but it's not just a stack of bricks. It's actually an integral part of the world and the image. I love the little radar tower deal. Um, God damn, man. Like, the best. The best. The sexiest. Super good. Like, everything, dude. The detail in the feet. The grappling hooks. Like, oh, man. So good. So we, we are definitely giving this to you the homie oscar so congratulations man fucking good work dude fucking great work um great work to everybody man you guys fucking kicked ass dude i i'm not disappointed and i'm a pretty pessimistic person at times so i kind of put this out there and i was like i don't know how this is gonna go wait we're not a professional organization i don't do this kind of stuff i'm not a community guy um, I'm not Simon Liu. Uh, so yeah, man. So I guess we did it and you guys came through and it fucking kicked ass and me and all the homies had a good time. So maybe we'll do it again. Um, if you guys want me to do it again, fucking let me know. Leave a comment or I don't know. Send me a thing, a carrier pigeon, something like that. Uh, so yeah. Anyway, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for uh, fucking building some nine brick mechs. You guys should keep doing it. Um, I'll get this in the post office. Probably when the Rona is less of an issue. Um, we'll see. I make no promises as to when you guys get these trophies and things like this. Um, but, you know, we'll, we'll do our best. But bear with us. We're, we're still unprofessional as fuck, even though we're editing all this footage together. That. Uh, okay, so yeah, man, we'll see you in the future. We got more content. We got more shit coming. Um, be good to yourselves. Be safe. Build some more fucking nine brick mechs. Thanks, internet. I'll see you in the future.